All right, in this next pro tip, I want to talk about reformatting errors using the if error function. And in this demo, I'm going to show you how to wrap formulas with an if error statement to essentially customize how those error messages will be displayed in the cells. So for instance, instead of showing hash div zero or num or reference error, you can customize how those errors will be displayed, like with a simple dash, for instance. Now, really, really important note here is that you've got to use this tip carefully and only when you understand and expect the source of the error. So in this particular use case, we're using if error as a cosmetic tool. We're not using it as a band-aid to try to fix broken formulas or mislead users in any way. So let's take a quick look at an example where using if error might be appropriate. Now, if you've been following along with the course, this should look pretty familiar. Um, we've got our interactive baseball report here where we're showing metrics for a given selected player. And this is a case where we do expect and understand that there will be div zero errors. We're going to have players who didn't play in a given year. We're going to have players who didn't attempt a stolen base, in which case we will have equations that have a denominator of zero, which will in turn evaluate to a div zero error message. And that's okay. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with our logic or our calculations. So in a case like this, what we could do is take a column like stolen base percentage and essentially wrap that function, which is dividing the stolen bases by the total attempts, wrap that in an if error statement. So we're essentially telling Excel, if you get an error when you evaluate this formula, then return a dash. That's the dash in two quotation marks, instead of returning your default error message. And when you apply this change to the rest of the formulas in the report, you end up with something like this, which just looks a lot cleaner and a lot more polished for end users. So common use cases, this is really one of the most common ones, cleaning up these user-facing reports or dashboards where occasional errors are expected and understood. And then also it's important to keep in mind that if error can also be used for other reasons that are not simply cosmetic. Like for instance, if you want to produce a completely different output based on whether or not a conditional test yields an error, you can use this in much more complex ways as well. So let's jump into our pro tip workbook and practice wrapping some functions in an if error statement. All right, so from your table of contents tab, go ahead and find that reformatting error demo in our formatting tip section and press link. That's going to take us to our baseball dashboard here. And again, we're looking at six years of baseball performance data. And we have the ability to drop down this menu and select any player we choose from the list. And in many cases, like Adam Jones here, everything looks just fine. This is a player who played all six years in the sample. Um, there's no div zero, no zeros in denominators. So we don't see any errors. And this looks perfectly OK. But what if we change this selection to someone like A.J. Pierzynski, for instance. Here's a guy who's not much of a base runner, doesn't steal a lot of bases. So as a result, a formula like stolen base percentage, which has a denominator calculated as column AB plus AC, is going to yield a div zero error in cases where this player didn't attempt a single stolen base all season. And then we'll have similar cases for players like Victor Martinez, all the way down here at the bottom, who didn't play an entire season. In this case, in 2012, he tore a ligament in his knee, didn't play a single game. So we get these div zero errors for three of our rate metrics, strikeouts to walks, stolen base percentage, and batting average. So let's go ahead and apply this if error statement to those three columns and reformat how those errors are being displayed. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the average. It's basically just taking the hits divided by the at-bats. All we need to do is place our cursor right after the equal sign, type if error, and open a parenthesis. So we're saying if you get an error, when you make this calculation, comma to the value if error. This is what we want the cell to display instead of the default error message. So something like quote with a simple kind of dash surrounded by two quotes. Close the parenthesis, press OK. And then we can go ahead and grab that first formula and drag and apply it all the way down to row 10. And there you go. You see that div zero error just completely disappear. Now, same story with stolen base percentage. 
if error, open parenthesis, comma, little dash in quotes, close it off, press enter, and drag it down. We should see those two error messages turn into dashes. There we go. And then last but not least, the K to BB, which is strikeout to walk ratio. If you get an error, comma, return a dash. Close the parenthesis, press OK, and we are good to go. So now no matter what player a user selects here, whether they play it every year in the sample or not, they won't get those ugly kind of harsh error messages. They'll just get a simple dash instead. So there you go. Quick little primer on how to use the if error statement to clean up your error messages.